Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to add strafing animations to our games. Let's first play and take a look at a regular game first. You can see my character is moving forward, but my character would turn and any direction that I move, the character would turn and face in that direction before it goes in that direction, right? So recently, Roblox has announced they have this, this new feature. It's a beta feature, so it hasn't been released to the public yet. It's going to allow an R15 character to backpedal as you move backwards. Let's now go and add that feature. Again, it's a beta feature. So we're going to go to File. We're going to click on Beta Features. And I have already added it to my Roblox Studio. But you can go ahead and click on this box here next to Strafing Animations and then click save. Now you have it inside your Roblox Studio. Let me show you what happened if we don't do anything right now. So we're just gonna press play. And I'm gonna run forward, it goes forward, but still, if I go backward, you see my character is facing me, going backwards, right? We don't want that. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add a script to this. So we're gonna go to the starter player expand that and we're going to go to the starter player scripts we're going to add a local script inside your local script just put in the following lines on the first line here we're getting the user game settings and this is the way you're getting the user game settings by using user settings function dot game settings and this is going to return a reference to the user game settings from there, you can change the properties of user game settings. Here, we're changing the rotation type to camera relative, and that should do it. Let's play again, take a look. We are now inside the game, and I move forward. My character moves forward, but look what happened when I move backwards. It's going backwards. I mean, it's pedaling backwards. It's, it's not turning around to face me, right? It's going backwards, still facing in the forward direction. So that is one way of doing it. Another way would be to change this rotation type to movement relative. Let's now play and take a look. I'm going to go forward. My character moves forward. And whoa, as soon as I go backwards, the character turns around and the reason for that is when you use movement relative for rotation type there is also something else that you needed to do we're now going to go to the starter character scripts we're going to add a local script in our local script just enter the following lines here we're declaring the humanoid object of each character that joins the game and then we're changing the auto rotate property of that humanoid object. We needed to set it to false. So the, the default is true. This property needs to be set to false for the back paneling to work. Let's play and take a look. I'm going to go forward and it's running forward. And look at that, I'm moving backwards, backpedaling. That's how you use strafing animations in Roblox. And again, it's not yet released to the public yet. It is still a beta feature. Thank you all for watching and we will see you again soon. Take care.